Okay, so today I'm going to demo for you the um, Batiste Double XL Volume Dry Shampoo. I uh, received these from from a PR company, and I, I I'm kind of a diehard fan of the Chlorine one, which I think is really nice. So, but I want to try these just because they're way more accessible in Canada, and they're they're much cheaper than the Chlorine here. So this is their new big and bouncy double XL volume version. I think they have like their original scent, which I actually have here. Um, they sent me a bunch of them, that was really nice. Um, they have the original scent, which looks like this. These are the travel size versions and one called Blush. And one also that they, um, the full size one that they sent me is called the deep dark brown one. So I guess it's supposed to blend into your hair better. But I was really most interested in the volumizing one because my hair is really hard to get any sort of lift, especially after it's been a couple of days. So my hair is not insanely dirty right now, but I mean the, the volumizing action should work anyway. In fact, it might actually work better on slightly cleaner hair. So I've washed my hair about every three to four days, so I'll wash it, and the second day it'll be fine. The third day I usually need to dry shampoo, and on the fourth day I'll wash. So this is only second day hair, but let's attempt. And the way I do my dry shampoo is I spray my part first. Uh, this is very moist dry <laughs> shampoo like it's it's a wet formula so I'll spray my part and then I'll part my hair on the other side and spray that I'm not really one of the people who just I'm not the person who just kind of spritzes all around them because I do think that the product needs to get into the root and you can tell that there's a little bit of white residue but that should go away as I kind of work the product into my hair so then I'll kind of split my hair one more time on the side just to get all the dirty hair underneath there and then once more right above my ear. Ooh, that's a really strong spray. <coughs> it smells sweet. Like I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't it just smells sweet. It's not a bad smell. It's it could be a little strong though for those of you who are sensitive to fragrance. I'm not really so. But don't inhale. <laughs> Wow, yeah, I totally just inhaled some of the uh, product. That was smart. But yeah, so just do the same thing on the other side. Just my hair tends to get... Try not to talk while you do this. My hair tends to get kind of greasy all like in the front and on the sides. The back is not that bad, but I'm gonna do one more spritz in the back just to see how much lift I can get from this. So what I like to do for the back is just lift up and spray directly underneath the root. I also like to let, let the product sit for like 30 seconds before I kind of start working it through, but I'm sure that's been about that long for the front bits anyway. And then so just kind of run your fingers through it. It's making my hair feel a little bit dry, which I guess is kind of the idea. And this product I can already tell has a little bit of hold because yeah, I can tell that it's just holding the hair up, which probably for people who have more easily volumized hair is a really good thing. Oh wow, it's actually, that's very large hair. <laughs> so you can tell that it does add volume. For me, it definitely adds more volume towards like the sides, which is usually the case with volumizing products. If I can, if there's spray products like this, like it kind of makes my hair grow outwards. I do wish it had a little bit more lift, but that's the case again with all volumizing products. My hair I think is just too heavy to really get that really high volume without massive amounts of teasing. Even teasing kind of doesn't really work on my hair just because it'll, fall after a while, but I'm actually really happy with this. This is very sort of va va voom hair. Um, if you want reviews, on, if you want to check out reviews for the rest of the uh, line that I received, just click on the blog post link below as I will have written kind of like just mini reviews on each of them. And yes, I will see you next time.